In this one we're going to have a look at Google Slides and Drawings, Guides and Ruler. Now what you see on screen is the view menu which is Show Ruler and Guides. With Guides we've got Show, Add, Add, Edit Guides and Clear the Guides. A tip I'll come to in a moment which is you have to press Control, Alt, E and G together. So what does that really mean? Let's have a little look through the show. Because um, if we're talking about guides for anything, what you see on screen as a background information is my video editor. The lines here, commanded by this little button at the top, is something when you're making videos called a safe zone. In other words, if you put certain graphics or certain areas of the screen, then safe zones and areas that um, are not off screen. Or to be sure, you can add a little border to make sure you're inside the safe zone which stands to reason. Now you can see that this image that I've taken in clearly is not right because it's a 4x3 and therefore it uh, doesn't look right. What I'm getting at is that if you're video editing you can also bring up a grid and then the more lines you put on a grid the more um, troublesome and not very helpful it gets in my view. So going back to um, a safe zone, I'm going to show you one in a moment which I've made for Google Slides. This is a mask which is a PNG with a black widescreen at the top and the bottom and then there's nothing in the middle. Again these are just a preliminary thing um, to use Google Slides masks, sorry, Google Slides, uh, what is it, guides we're talking about today, and then eventually you might wow people with something like a really nice presentation, which is the guide has helped us get a really nice widescreen, and then I've put a photograph with a, almost like a um, text title off screen, almost, like in the black saying the countryside. So really what we need to do is come out of that and talk about as fast as I can but as accurate as I can and this is a blog post I mean to teach people about it and that is it's a blog post from G Suite updates and it's dated April the 18th 2018 and there are a few new things there about um, slides into docs the one I'm interested today for the purpose of this is design your slides with precision using new guides and rulers you can add guidelines uh, for consistent placement and alignment, that's what they say about it. These guys will show up in the presentation. Text objects have also created a new visual ruler. Fine grain control over the alignment of text lists and objects. That's pretty much all they say about it. And then when you actually go down to the official help, you get a page here which quite honestly um, is very skinny. And that one goes on to about how you do it on the computer. I'll link in the description to it. And then, by the way, very important that this is just a um, Google drawing that I've, I've got going. And you can see that the guides are lined up. In other words, identical as far as I can see between Google Drawings and Google Slides for the new features of Guides and the Ruler. If I wanted to put the ruler on, by the way, all you do is show the ruler and the ruler comes up. Now the thing is, is that um, finishing this story in that if you go to Docs Editors Help, Create and Edit Drawings, there is no mention whatsoever of the guides and the ruler, which is an intriguing story. Now, um, moving on to something to share a bit of my daily life, shall we say to people, and that is if you go on to a presentation I did um, for one of my videos a couple of days ago, I've, I've turned the guides on by the way, so this is a practical way of how you could actually use them. If you want I could show the ruler on as well and you can see that it's um, well along the top and along the side. The reason I'm actually going on to this is because if you go down to where I've just highlighted the guide, if you go down to one of my slides you can see that this image is lined up exactly top left because that's where I put it. But when I actually go through other images in the presentation. They're all over the place. You can see this image here is uh, pushing through to the left. There's another one up here which is just all over. Look, there's a there's a quite a narrow green area on the left and on the right is massive. So in other words, having a guide, had I known about the guide a little later on, could have really, really helped me. So let's move along. Let's just get out of that one because I don't really want it anyway. And go down to the one that I'm interested in. And I'm going to change this and manipulate that URL and hit edit at the top just to get me back to the editor. 
and just roll a little bit of a demonstration. I know that we've been five minutes already, but that's life, that's teaching for you, as I pad for time because the darn thing isn't loading on the left-hand side. So what happens is this. Now, let, let's deal with something here. What I've said, and these are the help tips if you want to um, learn in the classroom, in real life, in jobs, wherever, if you are using Google Slides efficiently. If you look at this part here where it says show guides, where I am, just um, control, alt, control, alt, G. Well confusing, but if you learn it, it works quite well. Now what you've got to do on the keyboard is you've got to hit control and alt and then E and G at the same time. So if you watch as I do it, and in other words, where you can see the guidelines. So what happens is if I hit control, I'm holding down control and alt, and then with the other hand, I'm doing E and G together. Three, two, one, go. And you can see that the guidelines have gone. If I want to bring them back again, I do control alt, E and G together, three, two, one, press. See, that nothing's happened. And the reason nothing's happened is because I'm not sure if it's a bug, and there we go, and now they've come back. But you know, let, let's be honest and fair about this. You'll probably go up and you'll say something like, well, in actual fact, view menu guides, you can see that I've got the guides on, and then you could add verticals, add horizontals, and edit the guides. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just show a very, very quick way to edit a guide, and this is actually a... Um, thing which is quite interesting to know. Let me come off of it. When I say a thing, what I mean is it's a tiny bit of maths involved here. And if you have a look at your page setup, and your page setup is 33.86 by 1905. Now, you could write those down on a spare piece of paper if you want to be efficient about it, or you could do something else. And the bit I just want to say that my slide presentation is set up at 1280 by 720, which you'll recognize as wide screen regular 16 by 9. So if I go back to centimeters and I've got this 3386 and I'm like, what? Um, this is where you could save yourself a bit of time on formatting. So you go in and here you are on the guides. Now let's say I wanted to set one up. I can do a right click, by the way, and I can say right click, guides, wait, go down, edit. Now on my edit, I want to add another guide and this time it's a vertical line. So it's a vertical line. Let's say I wanted it to be, now automatically when you hit it, it will come up as halfway across. But let's say I wanted it to be two thirds of the way across. Now, did you remember the width of the page? Because I'll tell you what, I've actually forgotten about it already. I don't know what the width of the page is, because one, I didn't write it down on the paper, and two, um, I haven't. <laughs> There's no two, is there? So watch this, I want it to be two thirds of the way on the right. So what I can do is I can write something silly like 50 in the box automatically because I know that that value is really high it tells me in red at the bottom the range must be between 0 and 3386 so now I could come along and say right 3386 is actually on my screen so let's say I wanted it to be I can't even work out two thirds while I'm doing it so let's say I wanted to be at 23.86 oh, like that there we go, that'll do. Now it disappears. Now what you'll notice at the moment I hit, just watch the background here, because you can see, you can't see any guides at the moment, and you go, done. You can see that the, the guide is over here. Can you see the way I'm dragging it around? And as you drag it around, you'll get like a little um, black box with white text on it telling you where you have dragged it. Now let's say I wanted it to be exactly on there. What you'll notice, I think, is it just snaps to that line but if it doesn't then what you can do is come along and do view guides edit those guides and the one and if you can see it just through this G on the right hand side if I go down there and type say 22 just watch this see see the way that the cross is just by the G if I click off can you see it's just it's actually just moved quite difficult to see but these are just tips to make people a little bit more efficient. So I'm going to come off of that, I'm going to come off of that, and then what I'm going to do is just do the last thing here because we've already been here nearly nine minutes, but if you learn this and learn it well then it will help you. And just very briefly, what I've done previously is I've got a slide here which is something I've made which is a widescreen mask. It's a PNG and it is 
got a blank middle to it. So in other words, if I line it up like that, and this is quite honestly what I was doing previously before using guides and rulers, I would come along and I would say, okay, that will do. It snaps to it. Now I've got my widescreen look and I could add a photo to this in the middle. What I've chosen to do is a slightly different way. And what I've done is I could come along here and I could just move up just move up. I mean, I could do this as I say with the technique that I've just shown you. In other words, opening up the edit guide and doing a numerical value. Watch this. This is really nice. Can you see this one at the top? Right, it's a set distance. Now, watch as I drag this down because you'll get the like the little snap to grip things equal distance. Watch, watch, goes down, goes down, goes down. It's getting close, getting close. There you go, bang. So, what I've got is a apparently a equidistant. I think it is an equidistant. Perhaps my mask is a little bit out. Don't really care at the moment. What I really want to do for people is just to go down and say that if I was messing around with areas and you wanted to impress people with a widescreen presentation as one example, let's try see if I can get these, rid of these things. Control and Alt and then E and G at the same time and it's gone. Now what we've got here is an idea that if you are in the presentation, say on a projector or even on screen, you're giving people the wide screen with the idea that nothing is ever in the black area at the bottom. Then all of a sudden you could come along and actually throw that down. And you could still say, well, the audience is there, the audience is there. And my guess is if you throw something in the black straight away, they might have a bit of a double take to say, how you do that? What did you do just there? That looks really cool because I thought that was a black area that nothing can be there. And now you've got some text in there. Quite an interesting thing. Final, final thing. And that was about lining up. See if we can know how to do that. And we've had a dozen minutes if you're still watching. So edit the guides. No, that's not right. Uh, it is a final thing. He says the teacher never wishing to give up the lesson. Show the guides. And then if I wanted to get a notch, shall we say, completely on the bottom left, I personally would actually do like a dot there and align everything to the left. So in other words, what I could do in my presentation is come along and just align a ref one single reference point, almost like a an X, Y, zero on a graph and say that if I align everything, then when I go from one slide to the next, then that reference point will be gridded up, say bottom left or top right or wherever you wish to do it. Look, 13 minutes is very unlucky to finish on and it's 12.50 now, so let's finish this video. Good luck with it. Not sure, ask a question. Goodbye.